So when it comes to loading levels using the GDXR VR template, there is a specific way to do that. And that is because our player has a screen fade system built into it. So if we go to the BP underscore VR character, we have this section here, which is screen remove screen fade and then display screen fade. Uh, it looks a bit more complex than what it is, but this is also hooked into our load system. So when you call to load a level, it will automatically fade the screen out for you and then automatically fade it back in once the level is loaded. So the way we do that is it's controlled via our game instance. So if we go to VR underscore game instance, you'll see here we've got a event load new level where we store the level that we're being told to load. And then we display the screen fade and say we are loading a level. I'll explain this in the screen fade video, but we're loading a level. What we do then is we get an event from our screen fade to say we've completed our fade. So our screen is black and we're gonna set our OpenXR load screen. That will have its own video. And from there, we check to see if our load level variable actually has a level name. And if it does, we open that level. So we control all of this by this code example here. So if you go to the section load level and you right click on the teleport pad, we can browse to this and we can open it up. And we can see here that what we do is we on begin play, we check to see if it's our player character and we do it once and then we call our game instance. So we get game instance, load a new level and we simply tell it what level to load. And then in this case, that is done as a public variable through our actor. So when we stand on it, we tell our game instance that we're loading a new level and then that automatically sets our screen fade to go. And once our screen fade is complete, we then show the loading screen and we go through and load that level name that we're passing through. So pretty simple. It's just a case of remembering that little section of code here. So if you're going to call a load screen from anywhere in the project, that would be the one to fire. Cool. All right. Bye.